just a little bit more about this ship. But for those that haven't seen it, this is what it, you're going to get. This is what the brochure looks like, by the way. Just wanted to quickly show you guys. Beautiful, man. I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. Oscar Tech. Xi'an Design. Man, I really love it, man. I love it. I love it. So I'm just looking at the images, guys. Noble, practical, adaptable. So those are their models. Nice. So like these, these are the cargo pods right here. So each one is a cargo pod. So what I, what I wonder, okay. So yeah. CRG. So this is a cargo. Interesting. 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 All right. So it says the interior. Exterior grab left lift. Yes, we've seen this one. Up it seats. Super cool. And I love the way that it lights up like this. I love the way that it lights up like this. Time tested design principle. Can I zoom in? That way you guys can see a little bit better. That's a time tested design principle refined and perfected by house got tech over the centuries and have expertly be imagined for interspecies use. Okay. So we got the elevator. So the elevator goes all the way from the top to the bottom of the ship. Mess all. Okay. So this is the parts that they did it. They haven't shown yet the galley. So Xi'an nutrition amphora right here. So they haven't fully built this out, but this is what they're thinking. So there's a place where they fully loaded a uh, gallery, including both. I think I can. All right, so fully loaded ga uh, galley includes both refrigeration and heat implements uh, for human cuisine alongside a uh, fermentation vessel and a growth wall for Xi'an gourmets. Interesting, interesting. So you're going to have your own food and everything on this thing. I can't, I can't wait to see how this is going to work out. Oh, I double checked, uh, very slightly less than a hall B, but it's a beefier ship about 20 less than a hall B. Okay. That's not bad. That's not too bad. It's probably going to be way faster than a hall B. This looks like it's going to be way faster than a hall series for sure. Uh, did I miss the end of ISC? No, I just finished it at the part where they were talking about the, the, um, the Gatek uh, railing. So we only watched half of our ISC, so don't worry about that. All right, so the commod, okay. That's, and the uh, scratch wall, interesting. I'm interested to see how this is gonna work. This is how this is gonna look. All right. I really love the turrets. They look really cool. Missile system. All right, let's, let's let's take a deeper look at this. So the cargo pods, bestow cargo pods utilize high grade alloy from Elson system and a unique shape, maximizing payload capacity with a combined 320 SEU ensures freight remains safe on the most turbulent flights. Interesting, interesting. So I think there was a um this looks like maybe this is the tractor beam right here this this right here 
right? This looks like maybe this is a thruster itself. So it looks look right here. So from here to like in here. So I think from here and here is all interior space. And then the rest from here is all the cargo. It's interesting how they snuck in some cargo pods in here too to, to utilize the space. All right. Okay, so this this let's let's look at this part right here. This. Okay, so it's a three deck ship, cockpit, ship item access and docking, all on the third floor, right? So this right here is a bridge. components area I think the docking collar is just back here and the the elevator is over here right what's back here I think this is this is the sleeping quarters I think from what I remember so crew quarters man turrets and bathroom so right here and I believe this is a mess all right here too this is a mess all right here So the ship entrance is right here. I wonder if there's any other any extra rooms in here though. And then the grab lev lift. I mean, look, 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 look at the character compared to the ship. This is a massive ship. This this is literally just smaller than the um Starfarer. Yo, Ron, how's it going? I was hoping CIG would move from concept uh, JPEG ships and have a straight flyable ship as they said and they were going um, to do back in the mid 2019 during the QA. Ron, you know what? You make a good point with that. They did say that and I don't know why they didn't do it with this ship. But then again, in terms of delays, I can understand why looking at this ship, looking at the design and how how it's gonna work and function it's a complex ship it's not like the regular you know I, and they're also experimenting and still working on the xian how xian is gonna look like so they had to do a lot of trial and error and see what works what don't work so i kind of understand the delays but what i don't understand is why they didn't bring this out um, when it's flyable because they did say that they wanted to bring out ships moving forward straight into flyable you know um i think lower floor is just the ground lift then the internal lift okay okay i think it's not as long but much taller i agree watch them surprise us with it being in the pu for 314 you think so john i think i hope so man i want to see the ship now Ooh, it is complex um but the scorpius wasn't and they made that concept that is true that is true you make a good point i don't know i don't know why why they're making that decision i don't know i don't know i can't speak for cig but i gotta give it to them they do well with, with ship designs i gotta give it to them i gotta give it to them also we get some more details about what's exactly inside the ship so uh the length um, in terms of the dimension of the ship, we already have this 320 um, SEU of cargo space, one pilot seat, one engineer console, and two man turrets. Okay. So we got one medium life support, one large power plant. That is really good. That is very important. I'm glad that they're putting a large power plant on this because this ship is not going to depend on armor at all, it's going to depend on shields. And in order to run good shields, you're going to need a lot of power. A medium quantum drive. So that is good. That is good. You put an XL1 on this thing, you can just fly. You're flying. I love that. Okay. Um, jump drive medium. Okay. Shield generator two large. 
yes 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 so so this is this is what's going to make up for this is what's going to make up for the lack of the fact that the cargo is outside the two large shield generators this is what's going to hold this ship apart and keep it hardened during flight right so two large shield generators just imagine two industrial grade a shield gens on this thing imagine the amount of time it's going to take for you to just break through that shield that is tough but in saying that i still love cig and yes i grabbed one today you grabbed one? Oh my goodness i gotta I, I think i'm gonna have to cc you to it this 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 one they impressed me with this one All right so this is the flight mode this is what it looks like from the front is this the front yeah for the front this is the bridge right here and he's so nice so the turrets can pretty much look at the back front to the side and everything so that's really good i like that in the back that's what it looks like the side this this ship is really designed after i forget the ship name i think it's called the tristan in eve online it looks exactly like the tristan eve online all right and then and then landing mode it looks like this nice 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 it's a cool ship it's a cool ship i'm not even gonna lie i'm really impressed i'm really impressed i'm very impressed man i'm very impressed all right so that looks like that is it man what y'all think about the ship man what y'all think what y'all think what what do you guys